This is a reproduction of the most elegant airplane ever designed. This is likely the most historically significant airplane that never flew. Almost no one knows it exists. It is a Bugatti 100P. The original design, Bugatti asked Louis Demange if he could design a record-setting airplane around Bugatti's race car engine. Louis Demange was a visionary, and I would call him uh, avant-garde, a very lean forward kind of thinker when it comes to aviation. Then, as, uh, as uh, Scotty says, uh, just before uh, the, the plane, the Bugatti was designed by my grand uncle, who uh, there is a picture of him here when he was young. There was old rowers here. Uh, in the back, you can see Bugatti's and my grand uncle, Louis de Monge. I had an opportunity to, to, to share this time here because I am a furniture maker and an art craft man and uh, I'm a designer and sculptor and I, I was thinking I can help for a while Scotty to, 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 to do what he's doing right now. He didn't invent um, this system, although Bugatti has a patent on it, but he's the first I've seen that actually submerges the radiator inside the fuselage. The most famous airplane that uses this configuration is the North American P-51 Mustang, the most famous fighter of World War II. In all, 14,819 Mustangs were produced. And in the war over Europe, the Mustang is credited with the shooting down of nearly 5,000 enemy aircraft. But this design predates the North American P-51 by at least three to three and a half years. An engine here, an engine here, and they drive via drive shafts two propellers through a gearbox in the nose of the airplane. That's one of the patents. Um, another patent is the construction process, which uses a what we would call a composite. Um, instead of a plastic and fiberglass composite, they used balsa wood and hardwood composite. A V-tail control system. Uh, that we see on a modern airplane known as the Beechcraft Bonanza. This airplane has a unique flap system that uses split flaps and these flaps are controlled by, um, we would call it a computer, to automatically set the flaps to help the pilot fly the plane. There was a lot going on in the late 1930s in the pre-war, pre-World War II years, that advanced the technology of aviation. And because of its advanced features and its very stylish design, it's an Art Deco masterpiece, it seemed like someone needed to rescue this plane from obscurity and get it airborne. The way Louis was building this plane, you know, with uh, soft shape, uh, and uh, that's my way to in design. That's there is something that, like uh, uh, there. Uh, what do you say that a relationship, a uh, feeling, a blood. <laughs> it will be cosmetically finished. Uh, so that it appears at, a, at an air show at the end of July. We expect to fly the plane in fall, maybe October. It's axiomatic in airplanes. If an airplane looks good, it will fly pretty good. Uh, there are many computer programs that tell us how this airplane will behave. We know it will be sensitive and, and uh, only marginally stable, but it was built to be that way. Um, I'm, I'm very confident. And I'm an old fighter pilot, so you can handle it. The, the risk-taking is, is part of my life.